Hello and welcome everyone again to another video. And today's video we have more of uh, catch cup battles. And uh, the the actual MVP today is Kilkalar. Again, I made a vi two three videos about this champ. This uh, champion, he's indeed a champ. Okay, and I feel like I still haven't given a Kilkalar like what it deserves. Yes, Alligator is technically an upgrade, but the Alligator like what's the name of the Alligator? Skelter or something? The alligator is kind of weak to dark and the opposing ghost uh, most of the time with the while this thing is only weak to the stuff that uh, beats fire uh also i haven't given what uh and i and like a showcase it's most likely just there and uh, within the team and i focus on something else so in this video it's most of like an appreciation to those two pokemons frostless i do not run triple axel triple axel is a griefing move it's a waste of energy don't run it i i i mean it i tried it and it's a horrible charge move if you land it it does no damage it's like a, a more expensive power up punch yes it will make your fast move do more but you you know and you will do more damage to your point but you know what does more damage avalanche just throw it and it does lots lots of damage okay so let's go and watch these battles and we will talk uh, we will talk you through it so first game here we have a toxapex i am sure frostless wins this because we outpace also they have a horrible charge move we have shadow ball and their health is technically two shadow balls plus the powdered snow so frostless does enough damage with the powdered snow to land with two shadow balls opponent here is swapped into a uh, whisk cash i threw bad timing but i was reading chat and i was i went like i was going for getting the shield from the opponent opponent actually shielded which is good for me now i don't need to shield either of those but i'm gonna shield one here uh because i'm gonna over farm aggressively and then go for the hardest hard hitting uh, scald and then farm them all the way down we should live this i think the game over tap for me there and i wasn't intended though opponent is trying to snipe me here but they couldn't so we were able to get to two moves so now the opponent is in a bad situation to be honest it's a tough matchup for them and they tried their best but it, it wasn't enough and guess what is the lead in the next game it's a whisk cash okay and wildly my opponent was running toxapex when everyone is just leading whisk cash so and today we will just show you how much how many whisk caches are there so uh, the first two games i don't have a collar but after i will be running it so this is a team just in case you need a team okay as you guys know this is an educational channel we give you teams which are suggested we suggest you uh, some stuff to run so a point right to catch so i insta swapped and i threw a night slash because i get to them five they get the charge move in six so i outpace i insta throw and their pokemon gets deleted now it's basically what we, what i call it usually outnumbering i am outnumbering my opponent here i have two and a half pokemons they have one and a half so no matter how we play this it shouldn't be losable unless they have a decision why but since they revealed the scammery there is no way they have a decision why so the play here is just a straightforward scald them to death not them as in the player no the pokemons but yes technically pokemons do not die they faint yeah because yeah you, you actually have a point actually why do they faint technically isn't like the same thing like faintings like death or something yep. i mean pokemon is just a family thing right and here we have a we have a where we decided to run crocodile so the idea behind crocodile is that every team has a whisk cash plus two stuff that are weak to fire so this is the reason i am running crocodile so the ape plus frostlass has one job which is beating the whiskash and then crocala will be sweeping as you guys will see today i went with this team 13 2 so you cannot say that this team is uh, not tested well uh well technically two games were without crocala but still good enough okay and uh we're going straight night slash because here i don't want to risk the game uh i can just win by going straight bait and now i'm just going to go for all slash and get some decent fast move damage here i am kind of down a shield so we're not in the best scenario but we will just see i throw one too i don't know why i mean i guess when they brought the pokemon it was invisible for one second so i thought i did one then throw here i'm going to call a bait it wasn't a bait which put me in a 
tough situation so now it's kill call against the dugong okay look how much the incinerate do damage look at that points throwing on bad timing so i'm gonna no shield here and hoping that it's an icy wind which turns out to be so that was a bad bait by my opponent which actually gave me a play with like my play now get to two avalanches and then win the game so we keep over farming the icy wind it doesn't matter we're gonna do three four we're gonna throw this and the dugong is a two so technically i can do three then throw but i'm just gonna do one then throw you know why don't risk it they might have gotten an invisible invisible charge move when they return back to their pokeball we don't know what do you guys think if the game gave us like a passive ability where pokemons when, when you swap them back they gain energy that would be insane but Niantic cannot get creative. Opponent here is running Air Slash. I have no idea why Air Slash. Air Slash is a horrible fast move. Especially when the other option is uh, Steel Steel Wing. Which is one of the best fast moves that, uh, nowadays. So what's the play now? The play now is we're going to go and incinerate them to death. Yeah, so they stop saying to death. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Uh, my switch is, is not up. So I'm going to throw the charge move and then go to Frost Slash and farm them all the way down. So what's the play here? Farm them down. And if they get to another move, we have to shield the three, four, five, and they 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 faint. This time we say faint. They faint at the same time, and they realize that there is no way they could have won this game, so they decided to top left. So this is a four-one set, and now moving into the next battle here, where we have a a what's his face? Charge boss. So charge boss here is is kind of a tricky pokemon because i have to call a bait opponent didn't bait uh usually when they have this i need to save this for the whiskash in the back because they always have a whiskash with this thing uh opponent is going for the uh i i intentionally hit throw for cmp because i'm like this is my only my only situation to win no just gonna go to the color opponent double shield remember that and then they brought in the cash I could have just swapped out, but to be honest, I just want to go straight Night Slash and then farm them down. So I'm going to shield this. And now we're going to throw on four, which is the potential second Mud Bomb. Wait, it's five, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm not. Uh, it's it's too late here for me. I recorded this video the first time after I finished recording. It turns out it wasn't recording. So technically, yeah, that's another reason why I'm a bit tired. Uh, here, we're just going to see a Shadow Ball because they don't have a shield. And then we're going to go Krokal. And Krokal will just incinerate. This is comedy again. Krokal is just, just sweeping. This Pokemon is just amazing. Look at that. They brought the Charger Bug. I am not shielding. Okay, no Protect Shield remaining. Yeah, so chill out. Okay, we're going to live that. And then we're going to incinerate down. And Krokal taking down two Pokemons, dude. Uh, they need Mandibuzz usually if they have Air Slash, it's in Frost Slash's favor. If they have Snarl, Foul Play, it's they win the one. And now they swap into Alkazam, and look how much the Incinerate is doing. We snuck an entire, entire Incinerate, so we're just gonna shield, and the Incinerate will take care of them. And this is where, well, technically, we, the, the other one has it. So, uh, PvP recommends Flamethrower on Krukar. Honestly, this is why you run Disarming Boys. Look at that. That did so much damage to the point where I'm actually going to shield the next one and go for the full incinerate down. So, why Krukar is good? Technically, it's not Krukar that's good. Uh, usually, incinerate Pokemons have 50 energy charge moves, except for the Krukar and... and uh, yeah, and Alligator both have 45 energy moves, which make Incinerate like an in, like a just extremely good. And they also buffed Incinerate last season, so it does so much damage. Like two Incinerate do the same amount of damage as a charge move sometimes. Uh, so here I went back to the card to force them to throw because if they didn't throw, I get to another charge move. So now I'm just gonna punch them all the way down, and this should be a good game. Now they will bring in the Mandy. They died to one counter. They faint to one counter. And we get friendship, opponent here, top left thing. They have no win con against the best player. And moving into the next battle, we have a Frost Slash into a Whiskash. Uh, again, not surprised. We have played this matchup a lot. So sometimes I shield, sometimes I don't. So the play here is just throw these avalanches as much as you can. Sometimes I shield, sometimes I don't. I started shielding because usually when I don't shield the first one and it's called. Then I have to shield the mud bomb. So I would rather shield the skull to be honest. 
so they double shielded. So now I'm not going to shield anything. And they still have to throw another one because I do get to another move. Opponent is counting. Uh, so we have to punch this thing. You actually do five always and then throw. They are shadow and this will always KO. That's what I found out. Okay, it didn't KO on this in, in, in that situation. And look at that, Kilkala that's sweeping the back line. They have a steel and a grass, and Kilkala decided to sweep. Okay, opponent here is swapping to Gligar. I'm going to throw on six. Hopefully, they shield. This is my only way of hope. Okay, opponent didn't shield, so we have no hope in this game. I don't know how I'm supposed to, to win this. I'm going to throw this move, and then I'm just going to try to farm them all the way down. I'm supposed to wait the clock there, by the way. So you're just going to shield and farm down. Hopefully, they don't make it. If they do make it, it's going to be... Okay, they didn't make it, which is good for us. And now they brought the alligator. I said Krokal is better than the alligator. Now we're about to lose to the alligator. I should have baited there, by the way. That's my only play. So I think shielding here doesn't make sense. My play is literally calling a bait. So... Yeah, if, if I called the bait, I would have been in a way better situation. So now Krokala is against Duga. Krokala wins this very comfortably, like in the same shield scenario. Uh, because we do live a drill run and we get so many crunches. So this should KO and now we swap out and we don't make it. So even if I bait, actually, I should still, I still wouldn't make it. But I think maybe I should have called a bait. But even if I call a bit, I still lose. So yeah, that was pretty much it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. This is the end of the video. If you guys like these battles, make sure to leave a like, make the channel, make sure to subscribe, and see you in the next video. Peace.